Hey, good morning YouTube. This is the original incandescent bulb that was in my Harbor Freight jump start pack that I've been overhauling and let's see we'll hook up a power supply there and you can see we've got 13 volts and a third of an amp so that's that's a four watt bulb and then I picked up two LED bulbs they're both rated at two watts with the Edison 10 base right there so this was the first one and let's see we get some light and it's 30 milliamps which is about a half a watt and then this one with a larger reflector on it this one comes out at about 70 milliamps and that's about one watt so they're a little bit short of the two watt rating which you kind of expect there but that's why I figured I'd pick up two of them those were the two I could find yeah anyway I'll put a link to the uh, eBay page where I picked these up off of and this one was listed as a Cobb LED and then this one was listed as MES okay YouTube I was uh, trying to figure out why these LED light bulbs don't work and I did a voltage check so you can see here, here's the black negative wire. That goes to the center terminal of the light bulb. And the red wire over here, if we get around, you can see the red wire is soldered to the side. So this bulb is hooked up reverse polarity. It's got 12 volts on the threads and then negative on the uh, center pin. So what I need to do is desolder those wires and swap them around okay there we go YouTube got the battery pack back in the shed here and there's the LED light that's the one that they call it the MES bulb so there's the one watt measured it's listed as two watts let me switch over to the one half watt bulb let's see what that looks like okay here is the half watt bulb yeah, it's definitely dimmer it's I think it's got a wider beam angle because there's no lens on the front of it but it's not going to reflect very well off of the uh, reflector because it doesn't throw much out to the side okay so this is the original incandescent bulb I'll turn off the camera light here pretty good uh, focused beam there because of the reflector let's see let's do that one I'll turn that off and let's try the one watt LED so this is about 70 milliamps of current I think that'll be much better so it's a quarter of the power of the original bulb and it should uh, throw out probably a lot more light so I think I'm gonna go with that bulb and let's see there's this uh, cover plate yeah it sticks out just a little bit I'll have to see if that um, lens cover will uh, clear the bulb or not I guess that might decide whether I use that or not so yeah there's the upgraded light in the jump start pack so I'll decide if I want to use that one watt bulb or I've got the half watt see which one works better with the uh, lens cover I just need to build myself a better battery cable I'm thinking about putting in a fuse holder so I can fuse this output because right now this output is not fused of course the jump start cables aren't fused they're directly off the battery but I think what I'll do is put a fuse holder in and fuse the the auxiliary power so this and this will be fused internally so that way if you short out the output here there's nothing inside protecting the wiring so I'll put a fuse inside of this and then I don't have to add a fuse in the uh, lighter plug so I think I'll do that instead and that way I can run my lighter plug down and then I've also hooked up my battery for the backpack sprayer so I run that I've got that battery cable run down goes through here 
and then drops down and once I get the battery swapped out in the backpack sprayer I will put it down there and I can plug in to that connector right there so I'll plug that into the backpack sprayer so I can use that battery and then I've got my class 2 wiring label on there so this is a class 2 low voltage circuit so it's a 12 volt DC supply and seven and a half amp fuse actually works on class 2 because class 2 is below 24 volts AC and usually it's 30 volts DC so it's not a shock hazard and then with a fuse to keep the power in this circuit below 100 watts it's not a fire hazard once I get done with all the wiring I'll probably put a piece of styrofoam across the bottom here to uh, cover up all the exposed terminals yeah I just wanted to show you the almost finished jump start pack I think I'll add the fuse when I get those fuse holders in and that'll wrap this thing up it'll be ready to go so yeah, if you have any uh, questions about that, post up in the comments section below. I'll put some videos over here on the side you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.